Welcome back guys, so in this video I will be showing you some gameplays of Beyond Good and Evil, Far Cry 5 and Uncharted 4 running on my Xiaomi Pad 6 using GeForce Now, One Play and Game Away, Android Cloud Game Streaming Services. I will kick things off with Beyond Good and Evil, it's a very old game, released in 2003. Action adventure genre, the story follows the adventures of Jade, an investigative reporter, martial artist and spy hit woman, working with a resistance movement to reveal a sinister alien conspiracy. Players control Jade and other allies, solving puzzles, fighting enemies and obtaining photographic evidence. At the moment, GeForce Now is not available in my country that is India, so I use the free version of Proton VPN Connect to Japan region. Once the stream starts, I disconnect from the VPN. I'll quickly show you the stream settings. Disconnected from the VPN, server location Japanese, test network, tab is connected to a 5 GHz band Wi-Fi channel. Connected my DualSense controller to it using Bluetooth mode. Details getting a latency of around 164 milliseconds. Stream resolution 1920 by 1200 pixels. 16 to 10 aspect ratio, frame rate set to 60. Okay, so the game does not support any gamepad. I have connected my Bluetooth mouse and keyboard to the tab. GeForce now supports both Ubisoft Connect and Steam platforms for this game. I own the Ubisoft Connect version of the game. Play. Hit to sign into our Ubisoft Connect account. I'll enter the credentials. Accept and continue. A game started. I'll disconnect from the VPN. Connect it to Japan. Enable the performance overlay. Tap on the screen twice using two fingers like this. There is the Steam's resolution, FPS content, real time data consumption. Okay, so gamepad is working. Maybe we'll to play the game using it. Options. Can't access the video settings. I'll just start the game. Alright, the game has started. I'm using the mouse and keyboard controls to control chat. Gamepad did not work. Quickly clear the area. Latency is not an issue. Not a first person shooter. Games in very nicely. Smooth 60 FPS, old school title. Stream is consuming almost 28 megabits per second of data. Dramatic slow motion effect. This switches down. There you go, cleared the area. Now friends, Jade is trapped. Alright, I need to break free. There you go. Take out this creature. Attack HI. Dodge the beat. Not sure how to jump. Eyes exposed. Okay, I can dodge by pressing the right mouse button. One of these things. Quickly take them out. Next, I will get exposed again. So good to see such an old title working fine on Chief first now. Almost 20 years old. My ally got injured there. There you go, took it out. I'll be trying out the next game. Now I'll be running Far Cry 5 using OnePlay Android Cloud Game Streaming Service. You need to have OnePlay paid membership in order to play the game. You also need to own the game, Steam version of it. I am subscribed to one of OnePlay's early plans. These plans usually come with servers having GTX 1080 GPU. Far Cry 5 is a first person shooter, open world game. Set in Hope County, a fictional region of Montana, United States. The game revolves around the project at Eden's Gate, a doomsday cult that has taken over the county at the command of its charismatic and powerful leader, Joseph C. Players control an unnamed junior deputy sheriff who becomes trapped in Hope County and must work alongside various resistance factions to liberate the region from the despotic rule of the Seeds and Eden's Gate. This setting is checked through gameplay settings before launch. 
stream settings resolution set to full hd fps set to 60 bitrate set to 20 megabits per second advanced game option show start setting enabled which shows the performance overlay last game stream started there's a performance overlay getting an average network latency of around 30 milliseconds i'll scan the qr code to sign into my steam account location of the server mumbai maharashtra close the chat tap on accept waiting for the game to start ubisoft connect started in game settings name of the gpu nvidia a4016 q i was expecting gts 1080 display resolution full hd using the normal preset all right the game has started check out the input response while wow, the controls are very responsive and we are getting around 60 fps Seems to be a side quest. Yeah, bear skill behind the archers. I'll help this guy. Here, if you drop down to 50. Bears in the background. It's coming here. Eh? Oh my god, kill that guy. Still not down. Finally. Ah, cry for you. Objective complete. Poor guy. Okay, there's a vehicle here. It's in a pretty bad state. I think it's working. Yeah. And I'll hop onto the vehicle. I'll hit the road. <laughs> Not the tree. What's with the handling? Mm, there you go. Variable FPS 50 to 60. Game is definitely playable using one play. Seems to be the bad guys. Block the way. Oh, they did not stop. Stop now. No one's helping you. So now I'll be trying out the next game. I'll be running Uncharted Legacy of Thieves Collection using GameAway. Need to have GameAway's paid membership in order to play the game. You also need to own it. Steam version of it. Waiting for this server to start. It's an action adventure game that has stunning visuals. Players control Nathan Drake, a former treasure hunter coaxed out of retirement by his presumed dead brother Samuel. With Nathan's longtime partner Victor Sullivan, they search for clues to the location of Henry Avery's long lost treasure. We'll be using Moonlight to stream the game. These are its setting, video resolution set to full HD, frame rate set to 60, bitrate set to 10 megabits per second. I'll just scroll down. Most of the settings are self-explanatory. If you want to use the virtual controls, enable this setting, show on screen controls. Codex settings, prefer HEVC. Show performance stats while streaming, enable. Back to GameAway's website. Yeah, copy the IP address. Machine is running. Then go back to Moonlight. Tap on the plus icon here. Paste the IP address in this slot. OK. There's the PC. Tap on it. It's locked. Just remember the pin that's shown here. In my case, it is 4642. Go back to GameAway's website. Type the pin here. This will unlock the virtual PC. There you go. PC got unlocked. There's Uncharted. Game is pre-installed on the server, we just need to sign into a Steam account in order to play it. Getting an average network latency of around 35 milliseconds. I'll scan the QR code to sign into my Steam account. Location of the server Mumbai Maharashtra. Close the chat. Tap on accept. Here we're in the menu. I'll select Uncharted 4 from here. 
settings resolution set to full HD name of the GPU NVIDIA Tesla T4 I'll set DLSS to quality advanced graphics setting using the medium preset start the game alright the game has started check out the input response there's Nathan very responsive controls nothing useful here in this room go back we're driving the vehicle hardfall we're getting around 30 fps big open area looking for a tower oh my god Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. Twenty-seven FPS. We're to rent the cheapest four. Wait, Sully, you can drop the settings to low. Back to the game. FPS is still around thirty. Twenty-seven FPS. It's a bit difficult to drive the car in the mud. Just kidding. That bridge there is what you would call wicked. There's the bridge. Need to get to there. I think this is the right way. Need to find right, some go, traction. Go, 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 go. Okay, kid. Yeah, there's the bit. Don't drop it. Just keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, it's not very powerful, strong. We're good. Giving way. Made it to the other side in one piece. So 27 to 30 FPS on game away. I end the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.